like to see you as always massive episode today and a lot to talk about number one we are four and one meaning if i get a win today we've secured a playoff berth and hopefully unlike the chargers <laughs> will actually secure a dub in the playoffs. I am dead inside. I'm so, I don't know why the Chargers just caught a stray. Fuck you! Honestly, I don't know why I said that. So many teams have lost. Why am I talking shit about the Chargers? I don't know. There are a few things I want to talk to you guys about, though. Now, obviously, our offense is crazy good other than our lackluster quarterback. And I always run into this problem in Madden. I do get a lot of comments, and I'm sure you guys watch. I don't play meta. There's two reasons I don't play meta. Number one, I don't think it's very fun to watch. Number two, I think people who play meta and they get really into the competitive side of Madden, they hate the game. And if I'm gonna be honest, the only reason I really make these videos is because I love making them for you guys. I love the team building and the Wheel of Mutt, but it's not like I have any desire to be even remotely competitive in Madden. The problem is, it's tough to win games when you don't play meta. There's never gonna be a point where I'm gonna try and play like the pro players or really try and be competitive, but there is a comment that I've seen so much that I finally need to actually suck it up and attempt to get. And that is one of two abilities set feet lead or pass lead elite now in the past the ability gunslinger operated the same way these two abilities work you needed gunslinger on your quarterbacks because it'd give you a faster throw animation and a faster bullet velocity however that is no longer the case gunslinger only increases your throwing animation it does not increase the velocity of the ball whereas pass lead elite and set feet lead do increase the velocity of the ball from everyone i've talked to from every comment i've seen these two abilities Abilities, either set feet lead or pass lead lead are absolutely crucial absolutely necessary if you want to play Madden. another ability that is super important that i haven't been using a lot of is fearless one of the most meta abilities on defense is under pressure it's why mahomes threw some interceptions in some pretty crucial games somebody's got a 96 overall d tackle with under pressure and it makes mahomes throw the ball haywire now in my personal opinion the fact that you have to put abilities on players to make them viable is so stupid i don't know who had at ea idea this was but why could patrick mahomes not just throw a ball like patrick mahomes normally throws a ball why do i gotta put all these jank ass random abilities on him to make patrick mahomes throw a fast football i can see with my own two eyes that patrick mahomes in real life throws a fast football but regardless my goal for this team heading into the playoffs is to get a quarterback who gets set feet lead or pass lead lead so that i can start messing around with how good that ability is so for those of you who watch me and love this channel i love you too i make these videos for you i'm gonna try and up my gameplay quality but there is a 0% chance I'm ever running the meta bullshit that everybody else runs. Touch grass. That's my opinion. If you want me to run that, go touch grass. Go outside, see what the sun feels like. Hopefully, you don't get sunburnt from the 30 seconds you just spent outside for the first time in two and a half years. So that's where we're at with this team. Another thing I did is I switched up some abilities according to some stuff I saw as well. So Herman Moore, his abilities are the same. Deep out elite and short in elite. TJ Hawkinson has tight end apprentice and deep out elite. But on my own line, I switched some things up. Quentin Nelson used to have post up for 2 AP. I took that off because Marshall Yonda gets insane abilities. Now, Marshall Yonda was a team wheel jackpot, but at the time, power up and all the legends options weren't available. So I just grabbed the 96, but I went through and actually gave him those upgrades. The only difference it made was his abilities. He gets nasty streak for zero AP completely free, which is an awesome guard ability. And he gets post up for one AP. So now every single player on my offensive line has an ability. It's really incredible how good of an offensive line we built. Edge protectors on the edge. Nasty streak on both guards. Nasty streak on my center. Identifier and post up on center right guard. That's crazy. So that does fill out our 12 AP. And keep in mind, if I do get a quarterback who gets set feet lead, we're gonna have to switch all of this around because set feet lead is gonna be more expensive than the one AP I have on quick draw. 90 overall Mahomes right now, but I'm sure we'll make it work. Earl Campbell's been great. The only sad thing about Earl Campbell is they just came out with this AJ Dillon quad father card. It's the best hatback I've literally ever used. I know I say those exaggerated statements a lot, but this AJ Dillon gets freight train. He never loses it. It's basically Madden 20 Eric Dickerson. It's so insane. So maybe next season we can pick him up. But for now, Earl Campbell has been amazing. So I'm not gonna be a baby about it. Defensively, I haven't really switched up anything. There are meta things I could do with defense, but not with the current players I have. As far as the meta goes, my defense is the most dog shit defense you'll ever see. The meta is man coverage blitz. I'm sure you guys know that. People just buy, you know, 96 overalls at every position. They run man coverage. 
merge and kind of pray that nobody gets open. That's a dumbed down version of the meta, but that's kind of what it is. Also, did you guys know meta is an acronym? I had no idea. Meta stands for most effective tactics available. Another acronym for meta is NSG, never seen grass. I haven't even seen it, let alone touched it. I haven't even seen it. Don't even know what it looks like. I'm only kidding. Either way, that's my outlook for today's episode. I'm gonna try and up the quality a little bit. And it's a pretty important time because at this point in the Madden cycle, everybody's gonna have a God squad. All right, our first wheel spin. If we could turn this into a quarterback, that would be the best case scenario. Team wheel jackpot. Okay, that could totally be a quarterback. It just depends on what team I'm gonna get here. All right, so we get any single player, but they must come from the... No way, that's gonna be Ravens again. <laughs> no way. Okay, that is... Oh my god, there is a Lamar. Oh my god. Okay, so last time I got this team wheel jackpot, the only awesome Raven available was Marshall Yanda. So I got Ravens last time on the team wheel jackpot. I get it again here, and there's a 96 Lamar this time around. Wow, that that is spectacular. Dude, Lamar just got a very high-end top-tier quarterback. I don't know if he's the best in the game, but he's a 96 overall Big Truss. Oh wait, it's not even under Lamar. It's under Big Truss. Dude, his ability is sick too. I love it. He starts the game with Truss on. So he can't fumble as a result of a tackle. It's kind of circumstantial. It's pretty hard to scramble this year, but holy shit. Lamar Jackson, big trust. He should get set feet lead. I assume he gets set feet lead. It might even be one of his free abilities. Lamar Jackson, big trust. Let's go. I'm looking a little skim on coins though. I'm gonna have to transfer some coins over. I'm gonna have to use my coin sponsor. Instant Madden coins. Code MMG for 10% off. Actually though, if you wanna buy coins, go to instantmaddencoins.com. Way better deal than EA. You can buy players or coins. I recommend buying limited players and quick selling them so you don't get banned. Code MMG, 10% off. Yo, by the way, thank you guys for sitting through so many of my dog shit ad reads. I know it's annoying, but you guys give me the ability to hire some amazing people, hire some of my best friends, hire my amazing editors. Fuck you! And live a pretty awesome life. So I appreciate you guys for that. Well, asking you shall receive. We talked all about a quarterback and here we are with Lamar Jackson, big trust. I just gotta see what abilities he gets. He is always improviser, thank God. I thought they were gonna make him a scrambler quarterback. Scrambling QBs do not get the best abilities, but improvisers tend to get really good abilities. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so this is huge. One AP fearless. I was just talking about that ability. I think that's kind of mandatory that I go fearless. Hot Roll Master for two AP on Lamar is pretty awesome. I'm gonna go fearless for one AP. Damn, they thought everything with this card. This card is nasty. So you really could. You could make him a scrambler. Like, you could go fast break, evasive, or gutsy scrambler. It should be a weirdo. But set feet lead and fearless. Three AP. He probably already has a pretty nasty release. If I want to run Gunslinger, I could give him an insane release, but that's 6 AP. I don't think I got that. I already got to use 1 AP on Big Truss. Starts on, and you can't fumble as a result of a tackle. We're going to actually see me doing some significant scrambling this season, at least for the rest of this run. All right, so our first wheel spin's awesome, but I currently have no true middle linebackers, and my corners are very weak. So if I could upgrade either of those, I'd be very happy. Campus Heroes Top 10. Ooh, this could be really good. I think there is a Jason Verrett. I just have to hope they're on the auction house. Here's how this one's gonna work. I go auction house, I go program Campus Hero, and I can choose out of the top 10 that are on the auction house, but I sort by time remaining. The top 10 is... Daniil Hunter, Daniil Hunter, Bruce Servant, Thomas Davis, Byers. Oh, he's there, he's there, he's there, he's there. Oh, I just got bailed out. Okay, first thing we gotta decide, is he our best option? I think he is. Thomas Davis is really nice, but I already have him. Jason Verrett. Okay, so his coverages are really good, but he's a little small. What, are, what ability does he get? He gets one AP deep out zone, zero AP pick artist, so completely free. Damn, he's pretty nasty, dude. I'm just worried of him getting mossed. It may be time to bench Sauce Gardner until Sauce Gardner gets a new card, though. By the time you're watching this video, I highly doubt Sauce Gardner's gotten his new card yet, but as of right now, he definitely doesn't have it. Okuda's been really good. Ramsey's been solid. Sauce, here's the only thing about Sauce, man. I mean, look at this. Look at the comparison here. 6'3". I mean, that is really important. But does it justify 6 speed, 4 acceleration, 8 play rec, 5 man coverage, 2 zone coverage? I don't think so. So Varric can get free pick artist. I wonder if I just run that. Deep out zone KO is a really good ability, though. I'm gonna run deep out zone KO, and we're just gonna see how that plays. Literally, the only thing I want right now is a linebacker. To get Junior Seau out of this lineup would be an absolute blessing. Our wheel spin is the playoffs team wheel. Oh, it has potential. This would be tough, though. We go until we find a playoffs. Steelers? No, Seahawks will definitely have somebody because they made it. 
The Seattle Seahawks. Are they going to have a linebacker, though? I think the answer there is definitely going to be no. Don, well, they don't have a lot of great options, but what they do have is a 90 overall Marquise Goodwin. And as you can see on my offense, I still don't have a wide receiver three. Marquise Goodwin is a 90 overall. He has 93 speed. He's not that bad. He gets deep out elite for one AP. I'm probably not going to use that on him. I probably won't use any abilities on him, but he will be a better slot receiver than George Kittle. So not the best wheel spin, but I did get two 96 overalls already. So I'm okay with this. 90 overall Marquise Goodwin. We're a hard 91 overall with no kicker, no middle linebackers, no D tackle two, a bummy left end, but everything else is very viable. Everything else can play. That just leaves the challenge wheel a loss. We are four and one, so we could afford a loss. Completing this would salvage a player in the event of a loss. Damn! 350 plus? 350 plus yards passing. It is possible. I've done it before, but it requires a lot. It requires a back and forth, lots of scoring, and no rage quits. So, we'll see. Little Swole. Got a 98 overall T.Y. Hilton. He's got the Carmichael. And there's our top three. That's damn two players from today's episode. Make our top three right there. Ugh, Junior Seau as the user is just so shit. Do not have Lurker on Micah Parsons. This formation just isn't it for me right now. Come on, come on. Ooh, good throw. Good hit. Ooh, this might be a run. I'm bringing DeMar down. It is, it is. DeMar Hamlin! Oh! Why the fuck is DeMar Hamlin's 86 overall safety so damn good? Ate that shit up. All right, this is a, this is a pass. We can guess pass here. We're in a good position here. Okay, throws underneath, gets rocked. I'm gonna put Matabuike on a QB spy so that he can't check down over the middle. Oh, great pass lead. All right, I'm gonna send a blitz. Whoa, I have no abilities on Micah. Send the blitz, he goes play action, he's gonna check it down. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, ho, ho, ho. he's too, uh, he's too calm and collected. He won't do anything stupid. Get there! You caught that. I mean, that is a that's a 97 overall CD Lamb. He's a beast, but I'm shocked. I think this is a handoff now. It's not. He's got nothing though. He's got nothing. Atito Ogbania, the silver, picks up the sack there. I don't know if he really runs the ball here. He does. Little stretch to the right side, bottled up. Great pass. Great quick pass. He gets in the end zone. A lot of plays, a slow drive, but a nice drive. 10 play, 3 minute, 20 second drive. Big Truss. Who's he got there in the middle? That's lit up. Ooh. He's got the Jamal Adams that starts with Avalanche. If he gets a downhill hit stick, I'm going to fumble. So let's stay away from him. Oh, go. Earl. I guess I got three yards on that. Simple. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, see, that's that Jamal Adams. Let's send Earl Campbell out to the right, and I'm just going to scramble. Or potentially scramble. I'm not going to predetermine it, but... Oh, that was dumb. See what I mean, bro? I don't got the patience. Ooh, let's run this ball. Dude, we got such a good offensive line. We got really good blocks downfield, but everything else was not very good right there. Looking at Hawkinson if he's there. Oh, he is. High ball. Hawk! Let's go, baby! Damn, that ball does come out a lot quicker with uh, set feet lead. I think this could be there. Damn. Beauty. Marquise Goodwin is just wide open over there. Harold Carmichael was usered on him, but he was just a little too far away to, to cover that. Ooh, why are you so open, Justin Jefferson? I got rocked for it. I paid the price. I'm gonna try and run this right side. I'd love to get Earl Campbell a touchdown right here. Oh, nice cutback. But it's not enough. It did give me... Dude, I'm getting three yards every run play. I'll say that. I'm gonna go right back to it on this right side. Let's go! Look at those blocks! Pipe layer. That, that offensive line is nasty. I re we really spent a lot of money on that old line. We get Earl Campbell a touchdown, which is huge. So now he's got another upgrade. I get ball at half. Three timeouts in a minute 40. Worst case scenario is he scores with no time left. That's worst case scenario. He's got a play action. And I don't... Why did Palomalu float over? That was so glitchy. That was just like a glitch play. Go watch Palomalu there. Palomalu is on a deep zone and he just kind of ignored the guy coming up the middle of it. It's not the worst case scenario though, because the worst case scenario is he scores with no time left. This PA post shot play, I've been liking this recently. He's on Prez. I can lead Hawkinson down and make a nice catch here. Gotta be aware of the time. Let's try and snap this when he's on. Yup, he's on a D lineman. That's huge. I can throw over the middle. Yup! That's why Identifier is so nice. He's trying to make all those adjustments down there. He gets caught on a D-lineman. We can kind of ice him up for a deep one. This is a tough ball. 
Kittle's gonna snag it. Oh my god, Kittle. Nice work. Let's go no huddle. Wow, I'm literally just running PA post shot. This play's beautiful. Fuck it. Let's go, Jay Jettas. Oh! He's trying to just run the main coverage on me, but we're catching everything right now. Ooh, I'm gonna try and scramble. Campbell. Campbell, let's go! Fully maxed Earl Campbell. I might be able to get 350 plus passing yards. We got a lot right now. I don't know how many we got right now, but we got a lot. We score with 19 seconds. He's got two timeouts. I just absolutely cannot let him do that play he just did. Oh, I feel like such a dickhead, but I feel like I kind of have to do this, huh? I have to actually sky kick it to the fullback. I am everything I am everything I hate right now, but I'm going to do it. See, now that's meta. That is the most effective tactic available, but it's just so dumb. It's just so dumb. Why does this look like a run? Oh, it's a... Oh, nice play. Keep him in bounds, maybe? <sighs> okay, in bounds. He only got a couple yards. I think this is that same play he ran earlier. Oh my god, I just got an offsides. So he declines it. He's on the 44. Can he hit this? 61-yard field goal? That's fine. Offense has played great. My defense is actually kind of crumbling right now. My offense has been so good. I can't stop him on defense. There's, we played this perfectly, though. It's 14 to 14. I get the ball here. So that's an additional possession for us. Brett Maher on the kick. He's two for two on PATs today. It's kind of crazy. Fun fact, I, I pronounce my Maher. Like, my last name is... My name is Matt Maher. People call me Papa Meegs because Meegs is my nickname because my last name looks like meager but it's maher so me and brett maher technically have the same last name and quite frankly i think i could have done better than 0 for 4 on pats is this man coverage now i'm gonna send hawkinson underneath this yeah it is man coverage but that guy who's on hawkinson has to come all the way across the field to go get that he knows he just had a bad angle man you gotta take a better angle than that if you're the user i'm gonna send campbell out to the right side oh kittle's open what a horrible ball where the fuck are you throwing that? How did that happen? Did he just get bumped or? That was nowhere near where George Kittle was. George Kittle never could have caught that. That's a big mistake now. This game could be, this game could get spooky now. He's already in a really good position to score. It's gonna get rocked here though. Let's go! Jeff Okuda! Let's go! All right, 14-14, still very winnable. Shit. Oh, shit, I didn't get it off. I tried to throw it away. I just got a safety. I was going to throw Campbell on the playmaker, but he stepped out of bounds, so it wasn't going to work anyway. Yeah, I'd probably just hand the ball off the rest of the game if I'm him. Just heaves one up in the sky. Palomalu! <laughs> was that slightly underthrown? I don't know what happened there. I don't think he's got anything open. That's a massive play, dude. Donald, he stays in bounds there. I don't know if he can take it all the way, but he's at least got a shot. Can't run against this. Can I hit Hawkinson? No, but I can hit Kittle. Kittle's running a pretty damn good route. <sighs> Just Jefferson torched him. I'm killing man coverage right now. Who does Prez go on? Kittle, easy throw. Easy decision. Come here, get a stiff arm. Beauty! Why is this play so good? PA post shot, man. There he is. No, 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 no. That's what I was so scared of. Second and inches. Great play so far. I don't think I'm going to scramble. Nothing stupid, Matt. Let's actually get this one away. Wow, this is an intense game. Oh, stretch is actually really open here. I got to just snap this fucker. Come on. Go, Campbell. No way, bro. Oh, yes. Okay, I got first and goal. I'm going no huddle. I'm going lead dive left side. Nice blocks. Sort of. Dude, he's got some beasts up there. Go, 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 go. I can't fumble as a result of a tackle, so that was, I think that was a good play call. That Micah Parsons is killing me. Is he in man? Like, could I hit Herman Moore? I was so electric getting up there, and then the field closed down. I got scared. Cade York will drill it. We'll take a one-point lead. A field goal puts him up. I don't know, though. I've stopped him on his last two drives. Playing over top of this. He's got nothing! And he's fumbled! got to the QB. Holy shit. Ball carrier conservative. Shoe clock. Let's put this away. He's He's got two timeouts. I can take most of this clock off and I can kick a field goal. If I get a touchdown, I go for two. I think we just want a first down. A first down, we win this game. Good throw. Jefferson's got it. He Dang. gets the first. It's over. 
This game is over! Let's go! Oh my god! How did we get out of this game with a win? He calls his timeout after some deliberation. QB Neil takes us to the end of this game. Oh, he's on the mic. He's on the mic. He's on the mic. I gotta get on the mic. Hey, GG's, bro. GG's. <laughs> That was literally the most anticlimactic thing ever. I said GG's. He said, Aww. I guess I don't know what I'd say. I think I'd be pretty fucking livid if I lost like this. So he did get unlucky though. That fumble he had there at the end, that should not have been a fumble. When he was in the open field, he got smoked. You should fumble that. His interception was a bad throw, but that was lucky. I got lucky right there. I don't think he should have fumbled it. So he outplayed me. 119 QBR at a 108.9. Earl Campbell couldn't get the ball going. 10 for 12, 1.2, but he did have a touchdown on the ground. Justin Jefferson, 6 for 1. 14. That's awesome. Hawkinson's 4 for 51. Kittle's 4 for 53. Dicka, 3 for 67. No challenge wheel spin, unfortunately, but we do have some big things to do, and that is to ma I think it's maxing out Earl Campbell. Or maybe I needed three touchdowns, so I might be one short. No, no, I'm maxing out Earl Campbell right now. Earl Campbell is already really solid, but now that I'll be able to give him some, like, serious abilities, probably at a big discount. 93 speed, 97 acceleration, 96 trucking, 92 strength. Absolute monster. He's got freight train. He gets tank for one goal line back completely free i actually like where my abilities are with everybody let's just give him free goal line back and not mess with anything else all right boys we might have just snuck away with a dub that we wouldn't normally get but i will take it it propels us to the playoffs next video you see will be the wild card playoff then the divisional and then the super bowl all right boys i love you thanks for watching as always i'll see you in the next one peace